Oh, man. You ever been so angry that you're just shaking? I don't uh, really get emotional. I'm an extremely rational, logical person. I am. Everything I predicted would happen is happening. And you guess, oh, that's anecdotal. And I'm going to get some important things in this video. I really am. You just hold off. Like I say, well, I haven't made any videos for the past few days. There actually must have been a traffic accident, and I was just so exhausted from overwork that I wanted to go to the Indian buffet, which is very healthy. It's just uh, chicken, and it's very cheap, and uh, there's a, apparently a very bad traffic jam. So I couldn't make my way to the Indian buffet because <laughs> the road was blocked off. I had to go over to Costco. Yeah, I know how evil Costco is. And uh, I don't even think I've ever eaten it twice in my entire life. And yesterday was that second time. It was a short rib package and it was underneath the hot lamp. Yeah, I know. That was my mistake completely on that end. Well, I bought that and a couple cases of water. I came home and I ate that. Way too salty. I can't stand that. And I got so sick, I really, really wanted to go to the emergency room. It was bad food poisoning. But since I have no medical insurance, I probably would have ended up with a $10,000 bill that I couldn't afford. So I didn't go to the emergency room. What would they have done anyway, right? And it was just incredibly sick um, yesterday. I was planning on making a video yesterday. I almost didn't even make this video today. Every three months or so, I make a video like this. Three or four months. You know, like, don't watch this video. It's not reverse psychology, actually. I'm not trying to ever pull that kind of trick on anybody. I'm not. Um, so I had really, really bad food poisoning. And I thought, well, I'll make a second attempt. You can't make this kind of garbage up. A second attempt at saving some time today because I'm so busy and go to the Indian buffet again. Like, well, I bet there won't be a traffic jam today. Which, you know, there's not in this town, really. That had to have been an accident. So I couldn't go because when I got outside, I noticed my passenger side door was ajar, and I posted a picture of it. This, uh, it happened like four or five months ago. Someone went in there, and they threw everything around. They stole anything of value. Last time, I mean, you know, I learned my lesson. I didn't really have anything in there. They still got over $200 worth of stuff this time. So they robbed me. I found out from my, my uh, loser neighbor, and he, they are total losers. Um that he was robbed last night, too, of his vehicle. They opened up the door. Um, there's a little device. I don't want to name the device, but it actually scans through the frequencies. It has nothing to do with your key fob, okay? People keep saying that to me, and that's not it. Um, it scans through all the frequencies, and it'll pop uh, your door open. Um, so that's how they get in without, uh, you know, busting a window or, or anything. And that happened um, last night. I mean, today. Well, I think it happened last night. It could have happened this morning because I was so sick that I got up late because I was up to like 6 a.m., you know, just really, really bad uh, food poisoning. Uh, it's just absolutely horrible. So this is the second time I couldn't make my way to the restaurant. <laughs> so I guess there's a message in there, like, don't go, go to that I never, ever eat out. It's too expensive, even though that buffet is really cheap and it's moderately healthy, actually. Um, a lot of you tell me, well, that's just anecdotal, you know, that happened to you. I'm telling you, like me or don't like me, you know I hear from thousands of people via email and I read every comment, this is happening all over the frigging place. This is Lexington. This is actually quite a well-to-do town. I'm not living on the bad side of town or anything like that either. Um, I talked to the police contact. Eventually, I got through to a supervisor. And, uh, yeah, he admits that it's uh, theft is absolutely skyrocketing uh, here in town. I actually had to call back five times. I'm not anti-police or anything like that, but I got so ticked off. The police were absolutely so horrible. They kept transferring me, and then they canceled the call. And I said, I just want an ETA. You know, I actually have to work, and, you know, I have to work for a living. Well, you know, just an ETA. I know, we got important things to do. It's like, I know, car theft is very, 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 very low on the bottom of the totem pole. I just wanted an ETA for making a report. I eventually had to talk to the supervisor. Like the four, I was lied to twice, and I was transferred six times or for a matter of an hour and a half just to report it. 
you know, just to show it'll be a blip on a graph of incidents, reports of crime and whatnot. I still wanted to do that. You know, I knew the cops were going to, you know, solve the crime. I, I mean, I knew that. You, I don't, you, know, you know I'm not dumb, furthest thing from it. I was doing it for other reasons. Um, I had a video planned yesterday, but I got violently sick. I had a video planned today. This is a video today, obviously. But <laughs> I got robbed once again in my vehicle. I posted that picture. Um, remember, people that are moving to Kentucky, they're tired of getting robbed. Most of Kentucky is not like this. This is a liberal college town, and I emphasize the word liberal, which tells you everything you need to know about crime. Um, eventually, um, people are going to uh, good, decent people are uh, are uh, you know going to stop putting up with this and evil people need to be uh, be very aware the evil people need to be very aware that when peaceful people have reached you know the last straw that broke the camel's back um, you know then that's going to be it that's just going to be it um, uh, it's terrible. By the way, I hope you like uh, my videos. I post a lot of live streams on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday uh, for two, sometimes three or four hours even. I, I, I don't want them to stretch into four hours. Once in a very while they do. If you ever like my videos, I'm not selling anything at all. I'll talk about some of my favorite stuff and do reviews. But any donations always warmly appreciated, and that's in the description below. Um, I wanted to actually... Uh, play a, uh, a, uh, a video, and this is of uh, a person, uh, you can't, I mean, I guess you can believe, this is what it's coming down to, so many things are absolutely collapsing, it's getting really bad, I just want you to hear, this is a guy interviewing this lady who is, uh, they, they can call it um, squ uh -huh. squatting all you want, but it is hardcore thievery, and this is one guy interviewing this thief that's in this other person's house, and she won't uh, get out. Say for a month. And a half. And a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's been uh, there a month and a half. Uh, you think you would be entitled to move in well, it? Take um, my stuff? Well, it's a it? lot of, um, I'm not the only one that is squatting. It's a lot of other people on the block, if okay. you want to be technical. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people encouraged me to do what I'm doing now. But she wants her place back. Yeah, but I have put a lot of work in here, <laughs> and I spent a lot of money. I am on a fixed income. Is that power hooked up legit there? Uh, my power is... That's not legit. It's not legit. No, you, you, you steal a little bit of power. I am... She's stealing power. She's stealing the person's house. She won't get out. I, I don't know what you know or think one way or another, but you try that here in Kentucky and a few other places. I, I won't... I'll give you less than one guess what would happen. I mean, <laughs> the fact that that stuff's spreading, Florida actually cut it off, and there's one other state that just passed a law to stop that stuff. Um, you know, but this, this, stuff, this stuff is escalating. I mean, it just it flat out is escalating. You say, well, whatever degree, that's anecdotal once again. It's not anecdotal. Just that one is anecdotal. Statistically, it's one, which doesn't really account for anything. That's like talking about, well, your vehicle got robbed. That's no big deal. That's anecdotal. Well, it is, but I can tell you that I ask a lot of people that are in the know, including I do have contacts in the police department. Yes, I do. And I talk to a lot of people, it's absolutely off the Richter scale. And if that is the case in Lexington, and this is unfortunately a liberal college town, but I mean, this is no economically depressed city. Not by any means, is it? It's, it's just going on. There's uh, some senator that I have like less than zero respect for. He's like a horrible person. The horriblest of horrible people. Out in California. You know, his vehicle was just broken into and they stole all his luggage. <laughs> um, I have a few people that I know that are moving here to Kentucky uh, to get away from it. But they're not coming to Lexington or Louisville, you know. Lexington is nothing like the rest of the state. You try that in the rural parts of Kentucky, 
you got a serious problem. I mean, you got a really serious problem. Um, the truth that uh, a lot of these protests that are going on in the colleges um, around uh, this country, uh, these are not grassroots, and more than half, at least, of these people don't even go to those colleges. But there's a lot of indicators, and they've been sussed out where the money's coming from to pay for these agitators. They're not grassroots at all. It's, uh, you're seeing the exact same tents all over the country where these uh, goonie birds, and what they are, they're low information uh, people. LIPs, low information. A lot of them are even, what are you protesting about? I don't know. I'm out here joining the crowd. Can you believe that? <laughs> like back in the 60s when they had grassroots protests, not that I was alive in the 60s. They ask people what you're protesting about, they immediately had an answer, usually more than one answer. They're asking a lot of these people in the crowd, what are you protesting exactly about? Well, I don't know. <laughs> we call these lips, low information people. These just uneducated, uh, monkey see, monkey do. Oh, my, fellow, my fellow goons are doing it, so I'm going to be a goon too and join in with my fellow. Uh, you know, uh, fellow simians. <laughs> low information people there's an inordinate number of uh of the of non-males i'm just going to say non-males at these projects kind of find it odd a psychologist was actually commenting on that it has something to do with nurturing the uh, the little guy or some sort of psychology. I don't give any credence to that. It could be partially true. I don't know. People that actually do know say and I don't that would never work here. It would work in Europe. I hate to say it, Europe, whether you be British or Deutsche or uh, from the Österreich or Francais or es, uh, from España, Europe is very, very pliable when it comes to obeying orders. You know, big time. Very unfortunately. Uh, so it would work there, but the UN apparently is planning for climate lockdown. Lockdown! Oh no! You know, by you traveling and getting out and buying stuff and doing things and, you know, trying to enjoy the, the, uh, the inalienable freedoms that you're guaranteed due to your birthright, you know, we're going to lock you down. You need to stay at home and work at home and do things at home. And, you know, we'll just bring you food and, you know, deliver you pizzas. And you could just stay in your yard and, like, wander around your yard like your doggy. That's not going to fly here in the United States. It might fly in New York or California. But it ain't going to fly in the country. But apparently the UN is planning that, and there's a lot of significant evidence for that. I have to mention this person. Uh, I think I've seen her commenting. I'm 100% certain I've seen her commenting and been a live stream. I didn't know she had uh, died. Uh, apparently she was offed. Uh, her name is Dr. Amy Eskridge. Uh, she perished at the age of 34 a little over a year ago. Um, the neighbor heard her screaming and yelling, and then uh, they, she heard a shot, pow, and then they found her. She's got, she has videos on the internet. Uh, she the, was the head of the Institute for Exotic Sciences. Her dad, who I don't want to name, but I've seen videos of her dad. He's a, a legitimate science and field propulsion technology, and she talked about anti-gravity a lot, and someone sent me a video. It's over three hours long. And in the video, uh, she's really excited when she mentions, the other guy mentions my name. And she goes, oh, Ken Wheeler, Ken Wheeler. Yeah, yeah, he's figured it out. And uh, I kid you not. Uh, she mentions, oh, yeah, Ken Wheeler, this. You know, I, I'm not trying to repeat her praises. But, you know, I never saw her face. I never met her. But I remember her being in live stream. I had no idea she had perished um, they say the powers that be got her because of her studies into uh, field propulsion technology, i.e. anti-gravity. And uh, you know, she's 34 years old, young and beautiful. She had her whole life ahead of her. And whatever you think it is that did or didn't happen to her, she's gone and, and buried. And... Uh, Everybody seems to be in consensus about what entity or entities took her out, you know. That's very, very, very unfortunate. I didn't know about that until I was contacted. Um, Dr. Amy Eskridge is her name. 
It's very, very sad and awful. Um, here's something that came out of Reuters, and this is really huge, and I don't hear any of the lamestream media talking about this, is that regulators are told to uh, prepare to handle failed clearinghouses. Now you go look up clearinghouses when you know about it. Regulators must equip themselves, as they were told, with tools such as bail-in bonds to deal very quickly so that there isn't a domino effect with failed clearinghouses for stocks, bonds, and derivatives. In other words, the summation of this is that the, the big house of cards is about to tumble without having to call on taxpayers for cash to back this up. G20's uh, risk watchdogs said on Thursday, and this is really huge news, and other than Reuters and a few other outlets reporting it, there's nobody talking about this, and it's absolutely off the Richter scale of importance. In this unfortunate age of uh, low information people, or lips as I like to call them, um, people have sublimated and, you know, prostrated themselves, kind of like some sort of uh, religious... Uh, religious person to a gold statue regarding governments, experts, and authorities. And uh, there's no such thing as an authority in a formal debate, but please let me beg to you that all these people that keep calling themselves experts are not. Have you typed in the term anata or anatman? And this is just one example of many. I mean, I'm the number one person in the world that's the absolute expert on that topic. There's nobody, not my opinion, there's nobody on this earth that knows more about that topic than me. I can debate that topic till the dogs come home, and yet if you type in that term on, uh, on Google or Wikipedia, you'll say, well, yeah, but it means there is no soul, it knows us all, and it's just what he taught. It's like, well, that's doctrinally 100% unsupported, it's logically impossible, it is fantastically uh, uh, ignorant to the highest order. And it's common via negativa. Anyway, I don't want to give you a diatribe about that. I've written many articles about it. But these, the experts that write these things, you know, the assumed experts, they're not. The same is true of field theory and all of these priests of quantum, these uh, cult of bumping particle. Fundamentally, what they are are atomists. They're materialists, and they deny a medium. Well, I mean, nobody with their right brain, with a half a brain, would think that... Uh, you could have sound without a medium because sound requires air and the air is the medium. That's the reason why Tesla said light was the sound wave in the ether. Well, the, the ether is, of course, the medium. In the case of air, the media, I mean, in the case of sound, the medium is the air. These people are, are, are the highest order of low information people, except they got a degree. Look at my degree hanging on the wall. I'm an expert on this topic. How dare you refute me? It's like, well, the information doesn't jive, the facts don't jive, it's logically impossible, it's completely irrational, and yet that's what these people cling to. I just need to point out to you, you need to stop, well, that guy's an expert, I'm going to listen to him. There's just too much of this stuff going on. I used to know a few Navy SEALs. One of them, he'd show everybody a picture of him and his SEAL teams, a short little guy, a short SEAL, Navy SEAL. Well, that guy's an expert. Well, kind of, sort of. Here's one perfect example. Okay? He had a little picture of him and his... He's a genuine Navy SEAL. He would show the picture of him and his SEAL team with, uh, not Rumsfeld, but, uh, yeah, Dick Cheney, who, uh, who flew for a few days to Afghanistan. He's there with Dick Cheney and his SEAL team. He's a genuine SEAL. He's got all the bona fide credentials. You know, he's passed through every hoop of fire. He's, you know... He can run a million times faster than me, obviously, and do all sorts of acrobatic things relative to being a, a, a man's man. And all of that's true. That's 100% undeniable. And there's another uh, guy with like 4 million subscribers on YouTube. I don't want to say his name. And uh, he's interviewing a couple. He's not a Navy SEAL. He's interviewing a couple Navy SEALs about uh, platform, uh, you know, pew pew platform XYZ. I don't want to say what it is. And the, the Navy SEALs were saying, you know, hardcore, inaccurate, demonstrably, objectively wrong things. Just as this Navy SEAL uh, guy that I used to know, I've known him for years. He was the son of a guy that I used to work with. Because I worked in a couple pew-pew stores, used to be a concealed carry instructor. 
I used to teach uh, marksmanship. You know, I actually do know a lot on that topic, and I mean a lot. But you can't talk about that stuff on the tube. I can't make videos about that, which is fine. Anyway, this guy would say things about pew-pew platforms. Pew-pew-pew. It was just 100%. Not my opinion or feeling belief, but 100% demonstrably incorrect. But an unintelligent, low-information person would say, and I know why they say it, because they're incredibly ignorant. And well, how could you say that? The guy's in Navy SEAL. Well, yeah, he is a Navy SEAL, but it doesn't mean he knows everything. That's like a professional race car driver. You know, they, they won lots of races, they towed a 500, you know. Oh, my God, killer skills for driving. You ask that same expert race car driver about the vehicle he's driving, he doesn't really know a whole lot. He doesn't. Well, he's an expert race car driver. Of course he knows about the race car. A little bit more than the average person, but he's a driver. <clears throat> We call that compartmentalization of information. Just as these Navy SEAL people, when they comment on pew pew platforms, and they'll quite often say something really, 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 really stupid and just flat out wrong. Well, how could you say that? That guy's a Navy SEAL. I got a, I got a SEAL patch right here, by the way. It says SEAL Team 10. Pew, right there. SEAL Team 10. Nice, huh? Just because they're a SEAL doesn't mean they know everything about pew pews. And a lot of you are doing the same thing. I remember when I was younger during Iraq's invasion of uh, Kuwait, Carl Sagan, you know, he's so smart. He was on CNN. He made this crazy statement when all the oil fires, oil wells were lit up ablaze. You know, the, the smoke would spread across the earth and like 10% of the sun might be blocked out. And it was just, it was just crazy, 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 crazy. Even though there was like a gazillion gas wells lit ablaze and there was tons and tons of smoke which is visible via satellite imagery, the notion of it even dimming out one one thousandth of one percent of the sun's light across, it's just crazy. Oh, how could you doubt that? There, Carl Sagan, he's so smart. My point being is stop investing and bowing down to these experts because they're not, and they're not authorities on anything. There's no such thing as an authority. Anyway, this has been a very, very difficult day for me. I nearly died yesterday, or at least it felt like I was going to die. And today I got robbed. You know, the last thing a poor person needs is to get robbed. <sighs> Nevertheless, I hope you like these videos. And I'm sorry uh, if uh, this video dragged in any way, shape, or form. I'll catch you on live stream. Thanks so much for watching. And if you ever like my videos, the 8,000 plus of which that I have, any donation via the description link below is extremely welcome, even if it's only a buck. Or even if you want to send me an email, give flipping me the middle bird, that's okay to you. You know, because I am not one to inhibit your free will. Thanks for watching. God, what an awful day this has been. <laughs> ah, horrible. Oh, well.